Nani? Today, we're going to put the $980 Toratec Zynga Pro 2 38 liter top box against the $158 Zetsch 45 liter top box. Is it true that we have to spend more money to get more? Let's find out in this episode of Do the Test. Do the test. What you like, lah? <laughs> Ma, are you ready to unbox the box? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jake, please don't throw it, yeah. Thanks, bro. This is the hundred and oh shit, I forgot the price. The hundred and fifty-eight dollar Zetch. <laughs> Careful, eh? <laughs> what the? F okay, here we have the hundred and fifty-eight dollars forty-five liter top box from Zetch. Zetch, right? Then yeah. yes, you see, oh, nicely wrapped up in. Oh my god, this bubble wrap. Right. Oh, baby. Bye bye. Let's check it out. Let's check out the inside. You have your locking system. This one is probably for to lock the box to the rack, right? Then how do you open this? Where's the key? Hey, wait, ah. Uh. This looks very familiar, leh. Come, 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 come. Where is the key? Any... Bro. Oh. Wait, <laughs> I know. I know this locking mechanism. Hey, what? Not bad, huh? Inside. Ah, key is here. Hey, it's actually quite nice because you see at the top here, you have this, uh, the liner here together with the zip. Hmm. You have to put some stuff like, you know, your passport. What is this for? You got, they included mounts to mount the, the, the box onto your bike. Can this be removed? Go, go. Okay, no, I took this out. It's just a liner basically to keep everything very. No, you know why the liner is in there? Mm. Look at the inside. Ooh. Ooh, not very nice. I don't know if the camera can get this, but that's how it looks like on the inside. This looks. This actually looks better than my kappa box. My kappa box just doesn't have this one. Yeah, but right. I'm looking at the insides here. Mm. I wonder how waterproof this is. You know when, when we all go off-road riding or adventure riding, ah. right? We always take out the box and we sit on the box, right? That's what I want to see here. Oh. How easy it is to, to take out. Huh? Eh, this is mounted leh. Is oh it wait, no, no, no. Yeah, right. Ah. Okay, okay. Right, okay, okay. Uh, easy enough, easy enough. Cool. Can you, can you unlock without the lock, the key? Okay. Okay. Not how you open just now. Oh yeah. Never mind, cut. Although, mm. this is plastic though. So I don't know if it's reinforced. Shall we have a look at the 980 yes, dollar box? <laughs> the f- <laughs> Still got one more plastic bag, right? Thank you. Okay. So right off the bat, this box does not come with the rack. The rack is sold separately. So $980 is the box and the rack. My turn to unbox. Unbox the box. Unboxing the box. Manual. Tells you how to install. And the box itself. Metal hinges. Metal hinges. And, <laughs> you see what I told you? Does this look familiar? Hey, Button. Oh my god, it's the same. <laughs> oh, and the inside, what's this? Oh, so this is probably to... There we go. So that means you want to take out the box from the rack. You can do it internally or from here. Oh, this is cool, oh. man. Yeah. This is... This is quite cool. Ah, lock. Unlock. But this doesn't have any hooks for you to put the net. Yeah, you don't. But it looks a lot sturdier and it looks very finished. Nice, sturdy metal wire. Right, so you're not going to put strain on the hinges. Mm. Nice. Nice metal rack. Open it, open it. Oh, different. Steel. 
More steel, more better. Mounting hardware and the keys. Oh no wait, this is the locks here. Right, so what, what Toyota Tech has done is to uh, separate the lock set from the box itself. I guess that way then you can pair the same key to your bike. Is that right, Mr? Yes, correct. Some assembly required by the looks of it. It's this the manual? Yeah, but it's all words. We we'll like some pictures though. Oof, thank you. So, Mark, mm. uh, first impressions, what do you think? Right off, I think it's hard to tell the difference between these two. But, let's take that and this, put them together. On to the first test. Let's go. In the first test, we're going to be testing the waterproofness of the seals, the material overlap, and the rivets. What's the point of having a top box if it's going to leak water, destroying all the cotton? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be using a low power pressure washer because using the high power one is a bit overkill. Uh, just to simulate riding in the rain at speed. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Gonna turn. You think water gonna go in? Confirm won't go in. Confirm won't go in. I think confirm go in. Three, two, one. Okay, that was fun, bro. <laughs> Let's check out the box. Come, come, come. Truth. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? We'll go in or no? Oh, I That's see like, a little No, 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 no. I, that that may have been from, from the lid, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but generally, not bad. Not bad, not bad. I'm quite surprised. Yeah. So, I mean, if water starts to seep in, we should see it from here, this this part, right? Yeah, I was, I was... And then the rivets and all that are still okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Still waterproof. We, we haven't finished the bucket of water, so we're gonna just use up all the water. Go near, near lah. Washing in 3, 2, 1. Oh. Okay, you see, we, we see a little bit of water inside. Quite a bit. But this was pushing. Actually, uh, when you when we go and wash bike, right, they also don't care, uh, they just spray only. Uh. Yep. This kind of water is gonna go in. Uh, if you go wash your bike. Okay, uh, not that bad, uh, not that bad. Let's see how the Toyota Tech. Go and try the Toyota Tech box. <laughs> My turn to shoot some water! Okay, we're gonna do the same thing as the Zitch box. We go from a bit further and then later on we're going closer. Okay, let's see what we got. <laughs> no water. Throw attack, eh? Ah, water! <laughs> ah, could be from the seals, could be from the seals. We, we should try the, the close up. high pressure one. Yeah, we go okay. close. Yes. Now, now even more water coming. Take it. Hey, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay. Hey, no water, no? Hmm. no same water. Uh, same, uh. Yo, it's same, from, same as just now. Uh, yeah, right? just now. No, yeah. no, so no extra how much water. difference? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is a lot better. Eh. This is a lot better. You're attack for the win. Never mind. Still got one more test. <laughs> Boxes will be mounted on the wooden planks and then we will see what it takes to pry open the top box from the rack with the crowbar. A huge concern is the quality of the base plate, the mounts on the top box and how secure the case is affixed to the base plate. Nobody wants a flying top box in the middle of a trip. The Zinger Pro has a weight limit of 5 kilos, while the Zitch, surprisingly, has a weight limit of 10. Imagine that load getting swung around the road by bumps, turning or aggressive riding. You want sturdy mounts. More metal, more better. For this test, I'll build some simple clamps just to hold them down on the test bit. Mark likes to live life on the edge. I'm the, the play safe one. <laughs> hey Jake, Jake, can you help me? 
เอามีเอามีปูใหม่ยอยู่เอามีเอามีโซลี่โซลี่โซลี่โซลี่โซลี่เอามี So what I'm doing is trying to make sure that we've got a very fair test, right? So with the pry bar here and we pull, I want the mount point to be as strong as possible and not all the way at the back. If it's all the way at the back, then chances are the mount is going to fail. But we don't want that. We want to see if the box is going to fail. So what I've done with this one, right? It's a little bit loosey goosey because it's meant to be until we tighten everything down. Is have a few bolts holding a steel plate, right? With washers and nuts at the back. So this way, what 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 we're doing is to secure the rack onto that piece of wood. So when we get the crowbar and we start prying, where well, we can really really test those mounts. Uh, this is steel, not gonna go anywhere. So uh, initially, we wanted to mount the rack on the wooden planks, you know, so that we can put the top box on and then step on this, use the crowbar to pry open the box. But the problem is, uh, somehow the racks need to go underneath the rack. Did I say rack go underneath the rack? The top box needs to go underneath the rack. Right now, Mark is trying to figure out uh, you know, a better way to do this test. I really hope he does it. Running out of time. Wow, this is going to take a while, sir. He's dodgy as fuck. No choice. You understand what I do? No. <laughs> That's why you're doing it, bro. Hey. <laughs> you need this. Mm, eventually. This one is big, right? What am I looking for? Uh? What? What am I looking for? USB-C cable. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I try. Oh my god! This one cannot even. I realize it now. To prevent damaging the box, we're gonna put this metal plate in between the crowbar and the box. We're not gonna be testing the integrity of the skin. We are, in fact, gonna be testing the mounds themselves. To the test! Let's go! Three, two, one. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, not bad. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Okay, gotta go. Even harder. Oh. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Metal plate moved. But the box is still intact. I'm not convinced. Try again. Second attempt. Oh. <laughs> All right, going in three. Two, one. Oh, not bad, huh? Quite solid. Not bad. Nope, not coming out. Nope. Okay, let's try the second uh, top box. Going in three, two, one. Oh. Oh, it's the wood that's breaking. Nope. Three, two, one. Nope. I'm gonna try to use the power of the leg. Power of the weight. Fuck. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> It's going to slip. Nope. Yeah. As you can see, the sweat is real. The cheaper box held up. So did the Toyota. 
We've been very fortunate to get this private compound to conduct our last test. What we're going to do is to load the cases with 4.8 kilos of water to simulate a load we would normally put on the bike. And then we'll bring the car up to 60 kilometers an hour and then chuck it out from the back. This is just to show what will happen if the case falls from the bike. Do not try this at home. Don't try this at home. Let's go! <laughs> cross, cross. Cross, cross. Don't say don't have, uh, we all think about safety also. Most, uh, sometimes. Uh, most of the time. Okay. I feel safe. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Ready? Can one, no problem. Toe one. Uh. <laughs> Let's see. Honestly, I think got chance. I know the Toyota will hold up, but I think this one got chance. I expected it to tumble, but it didn't. How is it, bro? Nothing much, eh? Because I think the box didn't tumble, eh? So, just very, very minor scratches. Never mind, we do it again. Tumble many times. I see water. I don't know. I've not touched it. Just a few scratches. Uh. Like, if this. Them solid, eh? If this is my box, right? Uh. I say, hey, okay. Uh. The results speak for themselves. <laughs> Dora Tech Zega Pro. But. Now he your turn. <laughs> but. It doesn't close as nice as it as it did before. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, lah. good enough. Okay. Should we okay. try a Torotec? Yeah, now the Torotec top box. Yo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I've always wanted to do this. Good luck! No problem. You'll be okay. It's okay, it's gonna be just a scratch. No need to worry, okay? You'll be fine. Honestly, I don't see how much better the Torotec can perform. The ZH1 was very good enough for me already. Oh, here they come. Oh, half pain eh. Thank you. So a bit of scratches here and there. Just scratches right, nothing, nothing too bad. But I did what you did just now and not throw it very heavily. Hmm. Right, it's just a, it's just an out and drop. Okay, never mind. Do it one more time. Uh, but uh, I will a bit it, more. Uh, I flip. Uh. Okay, yeah. okay. okay, we're gonna start soon. I think this is the real test for the Ziga Pro too. Oh, here they come. Oh. 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 Wow, that was a very rough one, man. How's it gonna do? How's it gonna do? How's it gonna do? How's it? How's it? How's it gonna do? Oh, actually, uh, all superficial only. Okay, aluminium got a bit of scratches here and there. But nothing I would use. No dents, no nothing. Open, I see. Lock works. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's dented down. Okay. Did we break a bottle? We have a loser, ladies and gentlemen. We have a loser. No lah, this one you open the bottle then... No, then no, 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 I, right? I replaced it bro, I replaced <laughs> it. No lah, but we are not testing how well it protects the content. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we finished all our tests and we have some very interesting results. Ding! <laughs> the crowbar test. Basically, we mounted the boxes on the on the wooden planks, tried to pry open the boxes from the racks. Both held up very well. Solid, very solid. Held up very well. Okay, and then mm. use the high low pressure washer, spray it at the boxes. Yeah. You no, know, we found a little bit of water in the Zedge box, uh, which was still okay. Oh, I mean, there was a little bit in the Zegan Pro also. Mm. I, I thought it was a little bit more in the Zedge, but it was still okay, la, considering the price and all that. Uh, in the final test, we tried to destroy both boxes, right. but 
we failed to do, I mean, we failed to destroy any of the boxes. Yeah. Right, just some scratches on the box. It's quite a surprising result though, this one. Like, like you know, I, I wasn't expecting that one to hold up. Uh, for the Torotec, of course, of course, you've got surface scratches and whatnot, but nothing detrimental. The box is still as good as before, just with metal scars. Got a slight dent on the, the, the mount, but everything still works. I was a little bit worried about the Zetch box. Yeah. I thought it would like just fall apart. For me, I would still, I'm still going with the $158 box because it's you know six times cheaper than that. Uh, some compromise I have to make. You know, when I go and can wash my bike, I have to tell a person, hey, don't aim at my box. Uh, I don't want things to get wet. But other than that, I think it's still, it's still overall very good value for money. I would still go with Torotech because I trust the brand. So with Torotech, you know, they got to spend a lot of money on R and D and whatnot, and we, we see some similarities on the Zedge box. Uh, but personally for me, I would go with Toyotech Not because I'm rich, I am not rich But because I trust the brand You've got warranty, you've got uh, local support you know, And their stuff is good stuff For all our brothers and sisters out there Who's had a top box fall off your bike Please share with us your experience in the comments below We read through each and every single one If you like this video and if you want more content Please like, share and subscribe also, if you haven't gotten one of these hate buffs, please do so at triple3.com. And with that, I'm Amos. I'm Mark. And See we'll you on the road. On the road. Leg again, bro. Oops.